QuantumScape just published a new blog post and in that blog post QuantumScape promises a better LFP battery cell and clarifies its position on solid state battery technology. Friends, last week and recently I have reported more than once about solid state batteries. Uh, their promise of offering a more energy dense, lighter and safer lithium ion cell puts them in the limelight of the electric vehicle future. Like for example, yesterday Toyota released a video of a prototype on the road testing with quantum uh, with solid state batteries. QuantumScape is one of the leading companies when it comes to that technology of solid state batteries. But the company decided to clarify something very important. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Hari. I'm from torquenews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle, electric vehicle battery news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And also please give us thumbs up for this report if you find it informative and we would appreciate tweeting it out. So the battery technology startup QuantumScape said it is not developing a solid state battery. It will present a solid state lithium metal platform for all battery cells. In that sense, it can make any lithium ion battery improve. QuantumScape even promised to make LFP cells much better. In its latest blog entry, QuantumScape said that LFP batteries have many advantages compared to NMC or NCA battery cells. They are significantly cheaper, more reliable, safer, and offer packing benefits that can increase energy density such as CTP, cell to pack density. On the other hand, they have a lower energy density and consequently they are heavier, which also affects energy efficiency. In other words, heavier electric vehicles have lower ranges. According to QuantumScape, its solid state lithium metal platform is cathode agnostic and it also eliminates the need for an anode if it is matched with their iron and phosphorus cathode in LFP cells, it can make them higher and in lighter and increase their energy density by a wide margin. The company said in a blog post that it is platform that its platform could make them reach an energy density between 600 VH L and 700 uh, watt I. I think, I think it's A or I, v -H -W -H I, which is equivalent of 250 WH kilogram, I think watt per kilogram. This is what the best ternary cell current used in electric vehicle battery packs can offer. If these cells were used in 50 kilowatt hour battery pack, the quantum scape solution could shave off 100 pounds from it. There is another thing to celebrate if the battery technology company can deliver what it is promising, reports Auto Revolution. Although LFP cells are much cheaper than ternary battery, the anodes they currently use have graffiti or graffiti and silicon. Producing these anodes is not cheap. QuantumScape's solid state lithium metal platform eliminates the anode. It is the lithium that plays this role that could reduce LFP cell prices even more. These are very bold promises. If they are as feasible as QuantumScape makes them seem, that can be a revolution, as its leading automotive partner Volkswagen would be the first company to benefit from it. The fact that QuantumScape has already said its technology will not be restricted to the German automaker is probably a relief for all other car manufacturers who want to make interesting electric vehicles, power, uh, competitive electric vehicles, and uh, who want to benefit from QuantumScape's um, batteries. Now, let me tell you what QuantumScape said in a blog that it's published yesterday on September 7th. Today's electric vehicle battery market is characterized by various technologies and chemistries um, addressing different user requirements. Some automotive models target customers who prioritize a long driving range. For these drivers, there are more energy dense batteries batteries based on nickel mang manganese cobalt NMC or nickel cobalt aluminum NCA cathodes. Although cell level costs of these chemistries have decreased substantially over the past decade, they still sit on the higher end of the spectrum with recent estimates putting them around $100 per kilowatt hour, which is the parity level with gas cars. 
Other models focus on customers who want the lowest cost options. For these drivers, today's most common option is battery based on lithium iron phosphate LFC LFP cathodes. The cell level cost of LFP based batteries is roughly 20% lower than NMC or NCA, around 80% per kilowatt hour. In addition to lower cost, these batteries offer several other advantages over those based on NMC or NCA including higher thermal stability and better cycle level. Sadly, these benefits come at the expense of lower energy density, which reduces driving range. At QuantumScape, we believe both high and low energy density battery chemistries need to improve. Today's high energy density NMC chemistries are still too expensive and don't offer performance competitive with existing combustion engine vehicles. Low cost LFP based chemistries are too low in energy density for wide scale market adoption. And both battery types still use graphite or graffiti silicone anodes that impose manufacturing costs and performance limitations on the cell. So what can QuantumScape's solid-state lithium metal technology contribute to the continued performance increases and cost declines that will drive mass adoption of electric vehicles? It's best to think of our solid-state lithium metal battery as a technology platform that can take advantage of many streams of innovation over the coming years. We believe replacing the conventional graffiti anode and lithium ion batteries with a pure lithium metal anode is the most effective pathway to increase the energy density of electric vehicles and address other key limitations such as charge time. The data we shared in our battery showcase came from cells built with an NMC cathode, which has very appealing characteristics for high-end, high-performance vehicles. However, other cathode technologies such as LFP are being deployed in other segments of the automotive industry. Although LFP is increasingly popular in medium-cost, lower-range vehicles, it has some fundamental drawbacks that have limited its use in mainstream electric vehicles. The advantage of our solid-state lithium metal platform is that it can both improve on LFP's strengths and substantially reduce its weaknesses. LFP's challenges and opportunities. Like many inventions that have made the lithium ion battery possible, uh, LFP cathode materials was discovered in the lab of Nobel laureate prof uh, professor John Gudenov. Unlike other common oxid cathode materials, LFP is a polyanion compound that is it's composed um, uh, it's composed of more than one negatively charged element. The, the main challenge of working with LFP battery cathode material was the poor transport of electrons and lithium ions through the polyonic olive structure. LFP is widely known for its low cost, with some estimates putting it as much as 70% lower per kilogram than NMC battery. The cost advantage comes from its chemical composition, iron and phosphorus, two earth-abundant elements that are mined at enormous scales across the globe and are widely used in many industries. Regarding safety, LFP is very thermal stable, which means it takes higher temperatures to the to decompose and burn in the event of thermal runway, LFP releases one-sixth of the heat of the NMC battery. Regarding packing efficiency, with these enhanced safety battery packs can, can be constructed with more density packed cells, increasing the effective energy density. Um, and in commercial electric vehicle battery packs based on NMC and NCA, sales account for 40% of less of total pack volume, whereas the most advanced LFP sales can achieve 60% pack volume utilization. Regarding cycle life, LFP often offers better cycle life compared to NMC. One reason for this is its lower operating voltage, given the high voltage instability of common liquid electrolytes, LFP cells, 
ones are less prone to side reactions that reduce capacity and increase cell resistance. Well, friends, uh, let me know what do you think about these things. QuantumScape's platform solution is this. QuantumScape says we consider QuantumScape's solid state lithium metal technology to be cathode agnostic for a couple of reasons. First, our ceramic solid electrolyte separator can work with a range of cathode materials of different chemical compositions and voltage levels. Second, our separator chemical isolates the lithium metal anode from the cathode, so the anode does not, doesn't need to know which cathode it's working with. This is a long block from QuantumScape, friends. I'm not going to read the entire blog. I will have the link in the description of this video for you see in details. The Outlook generally, QuantumScape, uh, uh, QuantumScape in an Outlook section generally says this. Lithium-based rechargeable batteries have not reached their full potential. In the coming decade, we expect new developments in cathode technology to further improve cost and performance. Our contribution to this constant stream of innovation is a platform that can offer these new technologies, the most energy dense and lowest cost anode configuration possible, our platform offers the chance to accelerate the transition to clean renewable energy while raising the bar on what consumers can expect from these batteries. So I guess good news, these are very bold promises that QuantumScape is making. If they are feasible as QuantumScape makes them seem, that can be a revolution in electric vehicle adoption. As the leading automotive partner Volkswagen, like I said, would be the first company to benefit from it. The fact that QuantumScape has already said its technology will not be restricted to the German car maker is probably a relief for all other car manufacturers who would like to use QuantumScape's new battery. Let me know your thoughts, friends. Please tweet it out. Give us thumbs up for this report if you found it informative. What do you think about QuantumScape's promises? This is Armin Haryan from Torque News. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And uh, I'll see you soon in our next report. Be kind to one another and let's keep loving one another and have a great day.